Hi guys, today we are doing another dye tutorial and we are working with You Pretty Hair. And I have here a wig that I've already made off camera and it is three bundles and a frontal. The bundles are in 18, 16, and 16 and I believe this is also a 16 inch frontal. Um, I'll have all the specs down below and where you can contact the company in the description box as per usual. But if you guys notice, we are uh, in the works of doing another pastel patch, but this time we're going to be doing a reverse pastel patch, which is basically <laughs> a neon patch, I guess. I want to make the hair more pastel and the neon, the, the patch part, darker. So usually I'll make the patch part light and the hair dark, but I want to kind of flip it for this and see how that color combo looks. So. For this video, we're also going to be giving the Kiss Dyes another try. I'm going to be using, for the main color, their pink petal. And for the patch, I'm going to use a combination of their Hawaiian Fire and their Pink Mania. So those are the only three dyes we're going to be using, but we're going to use a couple of different techniques uh, if you guys watched my previous video you saw that I used conditioner and a black dye to kind of make a little bit more dimension kind of stretch my colors out a little bit that's what we're gonna be that's what we're gonna be doing here to make the body just a little bit more interesting with the pink petal color so here we have the three dyes swatched hopefully you guys can see those I know my lights are super duper bright but um here's the pink dye swatch we have pink petal we have the I believe this is the pink mania and this is the pink hawaiian as you see pink hawaiian has a little more red to it and these two are more bluer toned so i think i'm going to use that one as more of a root color and have it going into that one so we're not going to be doing too too much craziness Maybe I'll skip using the uh, Hawaiian altogether. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing as I go. So with the pink petal, I do have two bottles of that. And what I've done so far is split one bottle in half. And I've used a uh, about, uh, I don't know, like a handful of conditioner. And then maybe just a dollop of conditioner. Oh, I don't want to turn it too much. But I'm going to mix those together to create two different color pinks. And then separately I have another whole bottle that is just not diluted with any conditioner. But you guys know I'm not like a professional, so I didn't measure it out. I kind of just eyeballed it. And hopefully it'll work out. I'm going to go ahead and mix these up and we'll see what pinks we get. If you guys can see that, there is the lighter pink with the more conditioner and then there's like a medium pink. The medium pink we're going to be using as a more of a transition color to go into the pure of the pink petal. Okay, so I just split my hair into four sections or quadrants or however you want to say it. I'm going to work from the back on up. Um, basically, I did wash this hair and so the middle is still wet so that's what you're seeing and the difference you can see the sides are dry but the middle is still wet so hopefully that doesn't affect what we're doing too much um i don't really want to go through and blow dry it for time crunch sake and for the fact that you know i just don't feel like doing it so we're going to go ahead and
your lace. You did not just take all that sweet time doing your roots very carefully to uh, hook it up. Anyway, that is it for the dyeing portion of this video. I'm going to try tomorrow morning if I remember. I do this in the morning as soon as I wake up, you guys, so I don't I don't always get a chance to, but I'm going to try to record me rinsing this out so we can see, we can get a good look and see, get a good look see of the coloring here. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. It came out super powdery pink. Um, I like it because it goes from that light powder pink with that uh, all of that conditioner in it to the color pink it's supposed to be, which is like a more Barbie pink. And then we have the hot pink in the front. Let's start talking hair specs. So basically, uh, you guys watched the dyeing tutorial, you know all the dye I use, you know the method that I use it and hopefully I didn't lose any clips. I think I got it all in there for you guys. I just threw some pin curls in this and went ahead and brushed it out. Uh, I chose a middle part. It was originally a side part but then I was like, God, how many side parts am I going to do? So I just went ahead and threw in the middle part just for a little variety. And I actually, um, I like it. It is a little, the color is a little bright for me personally. I think pink isn't really my color. <laughs> um, I try a lot of colors and I believe a lot of colors look great on dark skin. But this particular pink, I think I did, I haven't done pink because it's just not my color. It's just. It doesn't wow me on me personally, kind of like the green wig I did, it just didn't wow me. Um, so, the lime green wig, not the multicolored green, green wig that we just did. So, yeah, there are certain colors that I just don't like myself, and I believe this pink, it might be one of them. I mean, it's cute, it's just a little crazy that I look like one of the city girls. I don't know if that was a compliment. I'm going to take it as a compliment because I really love them, but... I don't know it's just <laughs> it's different it's different so if you are bold if you are bolder than me and that's really saying something because I wear my wigs out here in these streets okay if you are bolder than me and you want to try this look please tag me in it so I can see you guys I can see your beautiful looks your beautiful styles that you create your Barbie dreams all right so pros and cons of the hair I have a frontal and three bundles of 18 16 and 16 I believe is the Length. so it might be 18 18 and 16 I'll have the definite lace down below for you guys uh, I had no problems which is so freaking full it's so full like I was telling you guys when I get 613 wigs I'm not really excited usually because it's not full enough to do colorful hair I don't believe I believe you need full bundles for colorful hair uh, or else it's just gonna look thin and weird I wish I was showing you guys the um, the inside of the cap this is probably the best I've ever stitched a wig like I took my time I took my time on this wig and it's just 
it's constructed beautifully thanks to moi let's talk about the lace um i know you guys have seen me come on here with light lace you've seen me come on here with dark lace you've seen me come on here with hard lace not laid down lace all those good things i think this lace is probably the best lace like clock me if i'm wrong i think this lace looks really good i think it's a uh, finally tinted correctly oh i have gel don't clock my gel don't clock my gel it's fifty size back there oh, y'all gonna talk about me um i think that this lace is uh it's giving me it's giving me like i think it's laid personally i think we did a great job with laying down this lace i think it was a lot easier than other lace like you guys see me come on here with lace not the bomb not good color you know it reflects back um but i think i finally found a way to make my lace look good so hopefully i don't know it might just be this lace but hopefully um we won't be coming on here with clockable lace anymore oh my god uh so yeah i had f no freaking problems with these bundles they didn't smell weird they didn't have a ton of flyaways like as you can see i have like little flyaway up there um i did cut layers into this hair so that it just had some body but other than that pretty much you know straight out of the box dyed and put into a wig um i did wash it in the beginning i washed it because i was washing all of my wigs so i figured i would wash my bundles i remember one of my comments saying something to the effect that um if you wash bundles before to get all that pre-treatment off the color will take better i don't know if that helped but i did wash the bundles before i um actually dyed the wig so i constructed the wig i washed the bundles then i dyed the wig and i don't know if that made a significant difference but i will tell you this this hair smells amazing it has had so much conditioner on it just sitting for 24 hours before i rinse it out and it smells so good so i do highly recommend you guys give your hair a pre-treatment, which is basically just when you get it, wash it, let it sit in some conditioner for a day, and then continue on to what you're doing. If you're gonna go ahead and color it or bleach it, then go ahead and wash it, color it, bleach it, then let it sit in conditioner for a day. And yeah, because this hair smells so freaking good, and it's so bouncy, it's so pretty. I just wish, I don't know, I wish this hair, I would've saved it for a different color. I wanna do like a forest green, like an emerald green, and I wish I would've saved this hair for that because I, as much as I love this hair, I don't know if I can rock it as many times as I would another color because this color is just, it's not, it's not giving me life on me. So, I don't know, maybe I'll sell, maybe I'll sell this wig. I don't sell my wigs. I don't know. I think it's weird to sell wigs. So I don't know. I haven't gotten into that spirit. But if I decide to sell this wig, would you guys buy it? Or who would, who wants this wig? You know, who would buy this wig? I don't know. Who's going to be bold enough to rock this bad boy? The hairline did come pre-plucked. Um, I did pluck it a little bit more just to fit my hairline shape. Uh, it didn't have a generic like swoop hairline shape it did have ridges so that was really cool and oh my god all right so we have to talk about this frontal because this might be the only frontal i have fallen in love with with 613 613 613 hair you guys know i come on here all the time excuse me you guys know i come on here all the time with 613 frontals 613 wigs frontal wigs and i'm always always complaining about the knots like i'm always complaining about them freaking knots because they overload those knots and they put like something on it to make it super hard this frontal <laughs> did not have that not only did it not have that the knots were so teeny freaking tiny the knots on this bad boy are so tiny it's ridiculous it's ridiculous how like I'm not gonna say how thin the frontal is, but just how the pre pluckedness of it was just oh my god, it was just made so great. Like, I, I don't even know what to say, but I do want to, I definitely want to buy more of these frontals because I, I have had so many 613 frontals and I have hated so many 613 frontals because they were so much work to get them to look decent. And this, it just came, it came ready for me. 
and I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I don't even know what to say, but the freaking knots were amazing. Um, they tinted so easily and I, I'm just baffled, like I'm gobsmacked. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I absolutely 100% recommend you pretty hair. Like I told you guys, I am looking, I am still, like, I'm still in the search. I'm still in the search for the perfect 613 hair, but I am freaking amazed at the quality of this hair. Like, no shedding whatsoever. You guys see me run my hands through this? Okay, so we have one piece of hair running my hands through three times. And I just, I'm just amazed because it is 613 hair, so it's already, you know, ready to shed. I, I've cut it. I've, um, I cut, like, maybe three of my wefts to make the wig a certain fit. I have, I have plucked the frontal. I've done all of this and I'm still not getting shedding shedding. So I'm excited about it. I think the hair feels really freaking strong. It, never once when I was washing it did I get that kind of gummy feeling. Like sometimes if you use a sulfate or a clarifying shampoo like I did at the beginning, you'll get a stringiness to 613 hair because, you know, it, it's been processed and that coating kind of protects it and makes it a little bit more lustrous. Is it lustrous? It increases the luster and the softness of the hair. So when you hit that clarifying shampoo, you kind of wash away that protective coating and you start to get like the real 613 hair. You get the brittleness, you get the stringiness. And I did not get that. I was super excited. Um, I hopefully inserted the clip. If I remember it, inserted the clip of me washing out the color. And it just, like I didn't get any basically no bleeding out of this color and it, it just amazed me i am so freaking amazed at how well the color took to this because even when i was dyeing it i didn't think that the color would take to it because i was still seeing a little bit of yellow peek through i thought oh this is gonna be like a rose gold i didn't want it to be a rose gold i wanted it to be a powder pink and that's exactly what i got i got this nice powder pink look going into a barbie pink with the hot pink front and and it did it come out it came out exactly as i envisioned it it's just once i put it on my skin tone i was like you have red undertone now you got pink hair and you doing you doing a lot um you glowing but you glowing a lot so this is definitely i'm gonna put this one away for the springtime as well you guys will definitely see it on my instagram a little bit more but for now in the winter time i think i think we'll put this to the side Basically, that is all. I literally can't believe I, I don't have any cons. I have no cons. Like, I, I at least try to find something bad about the hair. Like, something inconvenient. And I just cannot find that. So, I do recommend you pretty hair. Um, but, before you buy, let me go ahead and wear this a couple times. Let me see if it nets up, if it tangles. I don't feel any nets in my back. I've had this on for a few hours. And... It's still holding the curl from this morning and it's still sitting pretty. So, first initial impressions, the freaking hair. Uh, definitely worth, definitely worth checking them out. At least trying a frontal if you, if you don't want to buy like the bundles or anything like that. At least try the frontal and see what that's talking about. But other than that, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you hit that thumbs up and you subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the bell twice for the notifications if you want to know when I upload. I upload a lot, so you know, you probably don't want to miss me in case I do your favorite color or something. I don't know. But I will see you guys later. I love you so, so, so much. Mwah. Thank you so much for 23K. Going on to 24K, hopefully soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.